Hello everyone, Komoto here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Fun of fact, if you look at the map of this floor, you'll see that the pillars are placed in such a way that the entire thing looks like a hexagram. Just saying. Also, in other news, I gave the Moss Immunity to the Red Wizard, because White Wizard's gonna have a larger job to do as we take on the final boss of the game. Wait a second. You're supposed to be dead, aren't you? Yeah, you are supposed to be dead! Oh, that's great. He came back from the grave to try to knock us all down again. Oh, that garland. So, anyway, yeah, here's the entire plot of the game in a nutshell. Garland sends the four fiends into the future, he dies in the future, only to get sent back here. Thus, entire time loop. And he now shows us his true form. It's time for the final boss of the game, Chaos! Ouch! Yeah, Chaos doesn't mess around! Yeah, not only is are his physical attacks extremely powerful, he also has some of the most powerful uh, multi targeting magic in the game. Oh, and he also knows uh, Kiraja. Yeah, that's nice. This is the uh, most powerful version of Blaze. Ninja's gonna need a little extra healing, I think. Also, Chaos has 20,000 HP. Very high. So, really, the, uh... All you really do in this battle is just physically attack him and cast Heliga every round. That's the uh, whole reason why I gave the uh, Moss Immunity to the Red Wizard instead of the White Wizard, because the White Wizard's pretty much going to be casting Heliga every round. In every other circumstance, I would keep the Masamuni on the White Wizard. Actually, I think I'll be casting Kiraja pretty soon. I'm not sure. If the white wizard starts getting low on MP, I'll use an elixir. 
It's the end of the game, so you shouldn't care about hoarding such items. Oh, slow raw. Oh, good. I don't have to reapply haste then. Yeah, why does Chaos have slow raw? And more importantly, why does he have the spell? Oh well. The Mossimony is such a lovely weapon. Uh, Earthquake! That's instant death. Don't do that now, cat. Shh. Guest commentator for the final battle, my cat. There's really not much I can truly say about this battle. It's not like he has any interesting abilities or anything besides Kiraja. Which may or may not fully fully heal him, I'm not sure. Think about it, I hope he didn't use Kiraja when I was looking away. It's not so much that the battle is difficult or anything, it just takes a long time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Good final boss music, though. Oh, hey, he's dead. Actually, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. And he dissolves out of existence. that Final Fantasy 1 is cleared
Yeah, we'll just blame fate for everything. That works for every game. And that's the true irony of the ending. Garland is still alive! Oh, by the way, you might have saved the world. You probably didn't. Nobody remembers it. Yeah, the whole game just basically writes itself out of existence. Yeah, nobody even remembers what happens. This is your reward for possibly saving the world. No fame, no recognition, no fortune. Just a peaceful world that never needed saving in the first place. Maybe. One giant myth. My heart is a crystal? That's worrying. I don't remember crossing time either, although I guess that would be the whole entire point. And so, the first Let's Play project comes to a close. What can I say about Final Fantasy 1? It's more or less an easy game. Not much strategy involved, uh... Hmm. And they're rebuilding the, uh, Western Keep there. The status ailments while not entirely useless, are only as useful as you make them. You can pretty much ignore them for the most part and just stick to uh, the uh, offensive spells and you'll be fine. I do kind of wish uh, late game enemies had a little bit more durability.
so my original plan for this was I was going to finish the game and then I was going to do the four bonus dungeons right after. However, the last couple areas wore me out a little bit with all the random battles, and to be honest, I'm looking forward to my next project, so I'm going to be putting the bonus dungeons on hold for the time being. It will be done in the future. I would just like to move on to other things. I should be saying other things here, too, but nothing comes to mind. Well, that is that for, uh... Final Fantasy. Oh, you can save your uh, game clear data, which lets you start a new game with uh, the bestiary. All of the bestiary entries you've unlocked. But I don't want to do that. So with that said, thank you much for watching. I'll see you in the next project. Take care now.